my children do not hear my voice because they don't understand my ways they don't understand my ways because they don't hear my voice why they don't hear my voice because the noise of the world drowns my voice that is given to them to hear the voice of god one has to be conscious of that voice by preparing oneself because we are living in amidst the noise a various noise noise from the world noise from our own body noise from our mind noise from the people around noise from the circumstances in which we live noise of various kind of problems we face in life various type of noises are there amidst all these noises one has to hear the voice of god unless one trains oneself that's why he says in verse 15 do not harden your heart to listen to the voice of god if we read in the book of john's gospel chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 the lord says i am the shepherd you are my sheep for whom i lay down my life and then he says my sheep will hear my voice and then he says my sheep will listen to my voice and then he says the sheep that listens to my voice refuses to listen to the voice of the stranger and runs away from the stranger and then he says my sheep follows me so far as sheep to follow the master the sheep has to go through four different stages that's what the master teaches in john chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 my sheep hears my voice that amidst all the noises god's voice also heard only one who wants to listen to the voice one who prepares himself to listen to the voice can hear the voice i was told there was some a village which had a temple with a thousand bells and that temple got drowned into the water so the villagers the next near the shore of the temple they used to speak so high about it sometime people hear those thousand bells noise the bells that were in the temple the temple is inside and when the waves come they will hear that the waves will ring the bell and those who are on the shore can hear the sound of those bells if only they hear the sound of that bells they will immediately go to heaven they will be delighted so a man came all the way from far country hearing this story he brought his things and near the sea shore there was a coconut tree that shade became his home as the sun moves the shade will move so his house also will be moving whole day and 
he wanted to hear the sound of that he was trying 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 one day one month one year passed he could not hear he could only hear the harshness of the waves and the breeze that flows and the heat that is surrounding he could not hear the voice of the bell or he thought maybe it's a lie maybe it's a story and in the evening hours when he goes through the village to get some food for him he used to hear the people talking about this thousand bells once again he used to be energetic to hear the voice days passed then he said it's all lie i have stayed here i am here day and night i have not heard the voice of the that bells so this is only a story so now he wants to say goodbye to that place he has to go tomorrow next day so tonight he is just lying he is not trying to hear the voice of the bell now he gave up everything he just wanted to say goodbye to that and he was relaxing tomorrow i have to go no more effort to listen to the noise suddenly he found everything became calm until then the mind was working i want to see i want to hear i want to hear i want to hear when the mind was in tension he could not hear anything suddenly now the mind is no more wanting anything he felt a kind of strange calmness and he was entering into that strange calmness he was relaxing suddenly he heard the tickling of the bell tadang he got up once again he became tensed the sound of the bell got stopped but now he knew how to hear the sound of the bell so he once again he went down come down come down himself relaxed himself and his focus was just relaxing and then he heard when everything became calm come down he heard the sound of the bell one after another this is a story to tell us when the mind is with 101 things the enemy is always wanting us to become somebody wants to make all of us to become somebody if you see somebody coming up you get angry upset jealousy or somebody says against you something you feel so angry that somebody thinks negative about you or thinks bad about you so many things we catch hold up ourselves what's happening to me how can i come up in life how can i become big as long as i hold on to myself i can't hear the voice of god that's why the cross means the eye is cut the moment we begin to realize that our life is not about ourselves our life is the gift of god given to us for a particular time this world is not ours before we were born the world was even if we die the world will continue to it belongs to him today i may have tomorrow somebody may have day after tomorrow somebody may have so this is not ours we are on our journey we are we have come from him few years he has given to us to live as his children we have to finish that journey and go back to him while these few years of my life 
how am i living can be heard only from his voice when the noise is oh, what others think about me what others speak about me uh, what i become how can i become big how everybody should tell me i am great as long as i the self is the focus of my life i can't hear what god thinks of me what god does in me where god leads me to so we have to cut off all those these are not permanent ones that's why in the book of romans chapter 11 verse 18 and especially still second corinthian chapter 4 verse 18 it is written let not the temporary ones destroy that which is permanent in you my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord